fans bring excitement to the home team, but fans can also get too carried away with their emotions. Eagle News correspondent Tenny Samagi tells us more on how the NBA responded to the incidents that occurred at Philadelphia's Wells Fargo Arena, New York Madison Square Arena, involving superstars Russell Westbrook and Trey Young. The beauty of sports, especially during the playoffs, are the fans who electrify their home arena with their energy and excitement. Oftentimes, however, fans can get too carried away, especially with visiting players. In Philadelphia, a Sixers fan threw popcorn at Russell Westbrook after the Washington Wizards guard left Wednesday's game with an ankle injury. Brody and his teammate Bradley Beal addressed the issue that consequences should be made with fans after Wednesday's incident. In the other setting, uh, you know, I'm all for the fans enjoying the game and having fun. And, you know, it's part of sports. I get it. Uh, but there are certain things that cross my mind. Um, and any other setting, I know for a fact that fans, you know, they want to come up. A guy went down the street and pour popcorn on my head. You know what happened? I want to come up to me. Probably that's about my kids, family on the street, but it'd be possibly different. In these arenas, you got to start protecting the players, man. It, you know, we'll see what the NBA does, but you know, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't get to the stands, but I just don't, I just don't take that lightly, man. I don't, you know, it's, to me, it happens to me a lot of times, and, you know, obviously, I've, I've learned to come. Look the other way, but to a certain extent, you can't just keep it going away. There has to be some penalties or something to put in place where fans can't just come to the game to do and say as they please. It's disgusting, um, you know, because us as players, we don't get to protect ourselves. You know, we run in the stands and confront somebody who is disrespecting us. Like, we're here to entertain everyone in this arena. And you know, credit may be one bad apple, or whatever the case may be, but that's still not a good look for the city and for the team and for all fans. Like, that's be that's because crazy language spoke to me tonight on, and my kids are sitting next to me. Part of me going over there and say, who are you talking to? I'm like, we can't do that. So, uh, we focus on the game, we control, we control. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, we got to protect the players. You know, there's a million cameras in here, there's no way we can't find out who did it. Um, and they should never be able to step into the arena, nowhere in the U.S. Over in New York, a Knicks fan spit over rapper 50 Cent's head, aiming at Atlanta Hawks guard Trey Young, Hawks head coach. Nick McMillan weighs in on the incident. And, you know, unfortunately, I, I think we're just living in a society where uh, really people just don't have respect anymore. Um, I mean, that's in, 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 no, in no way should that be allowed or should that happen uh, at a sporting event or really any event. Uh, where you are coming to watch a game and uh, you do something like that. So, uh, you know, I think New York uh, did what they uh, should have done in that situation. And it's just, uh, it, it, it's uncalled for and shouldn't happen. I've spoke to Trey uh, about it and, uh, you know, he was just shocked that, uh, you know, that happened, you know, and, and Trey is, I mean, the, the game is still going on, you know, it's, it's really the last possession, uh, you know, uh, of the game. And, you know, so his focus, his attention is is on the game. Uh, but he, he did see that and uh, was just, you know, really surprised that, uh, you know, something like that was happening. The NBA issued a code of conduct for fans after the incidents occurred. For more on the NBA playoffs, tune in to Eagle News for more stories and highlights. In New York, Tenisumaki Eagle News, we live in interesting times.